Hi, and welcome to Live With Impact. I'm Angela Brown, and I'm really excited about the conversation we're having today with Omu. This is a book that we're going through on a series. It's every Saturday. And this is from the insights and wisdom of Omu. This is a lifetime of wisdom added into two volumes called the Live With Impact series. And here to help me today unpack these ideas of wisdom, we have Omu himself. Today's topic is on change and how it affects our lives. So please help me welcome Omu. So as a leader, it's really important that we recognize the change and that we're able to adapt to it. What advice would you give to a leader in progress? A lot of it goes back to the awareness. You've seen that in your business, I'm sure, where you have a way of doing things. And when you become aware of something like a new software program that would simplify what you do, you will actually change your business model to incorporate the new advancements in software design. We see that every year the car styles change. They introduce new engines and they go from gasoline to electric. There are many companies that are working on some of those same concepts, so it's changing in a lot of different ways. You need to just be aware of what's going on in your particular industry or in your particular field because science is moving ahead so rapidly that if you don't constantly adapt and change, Whatever field you're in, you will be left behind. There are new marketing strategies, new way of building things, new building materials, new processes. I mean, the list goes on and on in every field. One example is the writer's strike in Hollywood. The writers don't realize it, but they've been replaced. Uh, artificial intelligence now can write their scripts and do everything that they did before. We have new technologies that have completely taken that field into a new arena. And so the writers, the poor souls, they're trying to maintain their prior employment, doing what they do and make a good wage where their job really doesn't exist anymore. You need to be adaptive and aware of all of the things that are going on. You will probably incorporate AI into what you do. And it will change the way your people that work for you actually do their jobs, the way they look at things, the way they solve problems, the way they handle different circumstances that arise. You know, it, if we go back, and this is talking about AI and the changes and stuff that we're facing, but I remember there was a time, and this goes way back to like 1988-ish, and I remember my boss sat me down and said, there's this new thing called email. I couldn't wrap my head around it. But the concept was I could take notes and I could put them inside a computer and it would send the equivalent of a letter to someone across the country. And that person would check their email and then they could respond to me. What that meant to me was I did not have to take a letter, write it out, put it in an envelope, address it, put a stamp on it, take it to the post office, have it go five days across the country, wait for somebody to open it up, wait for them to respond send it five days back, and two weeks later, I got my response. What I heard was the world is about to change. In minutes or hours, I could have the response instead of weeks. I was like, oh my goodness, the world is changing. Yes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. This is going to save me so much time. And I remember when I discovered AI. It was over the Thanksgiving break when my team had gone home for the, the weekend, and something popped up about AI, and I was like, what is that? And it caught my attention. And then the whole game changer. <laughs> I spent the whole entire <laughs> Thanksgiving holiday sitting there saying, what is this and how do we use this for business? On Monday, I called a team meeting and I said, all of your jobs have just changed. I said, I don't know what this means for us, but what I know is that the way we do things will forever change moving forward. And since then, we've replaced several of the people in our company. We lost a couple of really good people that were only married to the old way of doing business. And I said, the way that we used to edit videos, for example, we will never do that again. We will never do that again. We will never go back to the old way. We can now do 10 times faster what we used to do. And so if you want to be an adopter of the AI and you want to be a manager of how we edit with the new software, you're welcome to stay and we can increase your hours and we can increase production and all the things. We went from one to, to I don't have enough hand fingers on my hands, we went to six YouTube channels, 
just this year using AI. So yeah, everything has changed. But like you said, if you are willing to embrace it, then you will never look at the world the same way. I was an engineer for U.S. Steel, and I put together a customer's order, and that was before calculators. I used a slide rule, and we would do all of our calculations with a slide rule. And that was way before computers, way before any of the technology that we have now. I've seen a lot of changes in my day. I can remember when we used to make a phone call, and you would just simply dial O for operator, and the operator would say, number, please, and you'd tell her the number, and she'd plug the wires in, and you could make your call. The call was on a party line, and you'd have to wait until that conversation had ended before it was your turn to make your phone call. So changes are taking place all the time, and some of them are just really significant changes. Some of them are very subtle, and we don't even recognize them. For example, your health can be deteriorating because of your diet or your lifestyle, and you don't notice it immediately, but it's a lifestyle and changes that have crept into their life and their health has deteriorated and they're not aware. They blame a lot of the diseases on misfortune. There's a law called cause and effect. And what people mostly recognize are the effects. You have to actually go back to the cause to understand what's happening and why it's happening and realize that every cause has an effect and every effect has been caused by something. It's just a challenge. And if you don't take the time every day to be mindful and to meditate and to ponder things, life can just go by in a flash changes take place, and you live in a different world, and you really don't know why. I don't want to get into the political arena, but the same thing has happened with our country. Our country has been changing subtly all of the time, and people are starting to recognize that maybe we don't want to go in the direction that our country is changing. We're starting to change some things that shouldn't be changed. And so once we become aware of that, we can be more responsible in who we elect and when we elect them and how the processes operate. But until everyone does that together, dynamic change cannot take place because a lot of people are propagandized by the news media, which also has changed over time. Uh, the, the news media used to be quite uh, selective in, the, in their news coverage. And they had reporters that were investigative reporters, and they would actually research things, and they would check sources, and they would interview people. Now you just have news that's put over the AP wire service, and all of the channels just read the same news, and nobody researches anything. That has produced a change in the birth of an alternative news section, where we have people now that are Contrary to the mainstream news, we have all of these independent channels, and our news coverage actually has changed into a different model. That was really good. Am I right? Oh, I just love these conversations that we have every Saturday. All right. So if you haven't picked up your copy already, this is the Live With Impact series with insights and wisdom of O Moon. This is volume one that we're working through right now. It is part of a series. Part two is also available and you can get a discount if you buy it in the bundle. But pick up your copy right now so that you don't miss next week's topic when we go through the next segment of the insights and wisdom of Omer.